A secret bottle with a secret inside? I'm very curious right now. <laughs> Hello there fellow adventurers, so over the holidays I had the privilege of playing Fran Bo, an indie adventure game created by Kill Monday Games. Fran Bo is their first project and is described as a psychological horror adventure game. Hmm, nothing horrific so far, everything looks fine. Uh oh, I spoke too soon. The story revolves around the title character of Fran Bo, who is traumatized by witnessing her parents' brutal death and is committed to a mental facility. She's haunted by a dark figure with a bloody goat's head. This monster called Remor pursues her throughout the game and tries to drive her to madness. You could interpret this as the manifestation of despair and self-doubt, but Fran must resist Remor's influence as she's to escape the facility and find out what really happened to her parents and her beloved black cat, Mr. Midnight. The most fascinating thing about the game for me, just like in Dark Sea, is the existence of a dark world that mirrors the real world, which appears whenever Fran takes one of these red pills. While Dark Seed makes some interesting use of this mechanic, Fran Bo takes it much further and the whole game hinges on successfully navigating both worlds. It's really fascinating to see how one world mirrors the other, even down to the inventory items, such as this family photo. The Dark World is inhabited by black wraith-like figures called Kamalas, who represent the unseen forces at work that affect our unconscious thoughts and feelings. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. Fran's reaction to these grotesque scenes are often surprising. <gasps> oh my goodness! Are you okay, little baby? Is that your mommy hanging up there? Do you miss her? I miss my mommy too. Her mood can change suddenly from childlike delight to sadness and horror. She even shows an almost sadistic and dark sense of humor. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. It sings all the time, choo-choo, and then you crash and die. <laughs> Although the game doesn't have digitized speech, Fran's personality comes across through her movements and expressions and gives the game an aesthetic similar to that of a silent movie. When Fran sees her cat Mr. Midnight again, he's just a mechanical toy riding a unicycle. When she finally escapes the asylum though, he guides her to the real Mr. Midnight through a maze in which you have to avoid the shadows, which remind me of the spirits and spirited away. From here on, the game plays out very much in the style of Alice in Wonderland, but not so much the Disney cartoon and more like the Czech version. Who are you? Said the caterpillar. Fran is very like Alice in the sense that she is always very curious about things. But you know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. Oh, cut, cut, sorry, sorry, sorry. I assure you, no animals were harmed in the making of this review. Things get even curiouser when she meets a creature that looks like the giant ant version of Gandalf and his pet beetle pig, who apparently swallowed Mr. Midnight so Fran is forced to hack it open with an axe. But instead of the cat, there's a rat inside who points Fran in the direction to go next. In the next part of the chapter, she finds the most essential item in the game. Oh! A sharpie shiny knife! It can be good to have you. The knife is used so many times that I totally lost count. It's the equivalent of the chess piece knife in the Black Mirror. The knife is used a total of six times in the game until it finally breaks. Damn! The blade cracked! Fran discovers that Mr. Midnight is being held captive in the attic by these Siamese twins who look like the Grady twins from The Shining. Come play with us, Danny. So she performs a magic ritual to banish them. And now I'll say the words. Bontura ir ekran o ir bigma. Oh, ibur nam ibur erg bonde ir ekran. When Fran finally rescues Mr. Midnight, I half expected him to disappear or turn into the goat demon. Oh, not again, not again! <laughs> now we come to my favorite chapter, which is a breath of fresh air compared to the dark and nightmarish scenes that came before. 
Fran is transformed into a tree and transported to the land of a thirster, a place filled with bizarre vegetable creatures, talking trees, giant insects, and a magical flying creature called Polontris. Wow! Amazing! What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing! There's also a clockmaker, time being an important theme in the game, with the ticking of the clock signaling the inexorable progress of time. Tick tock, tick tock. It will never stop. With the clockmaker's help, Fran obtains a device with the ability to change the seasons at will, which adds another dimension to the light and dark world dichotomy. It's so much fun to play around with this and see the seasons turn around you. You even get to play as Mr. Midnight at one point to get inside a party with a dancing praying mantis. The Thurster is such a beautiful place that you'll want to stay there forever, but eventually Fran must face reality again and discover the truth about her parents. She's not alone, however, as besides Mr. Midnight, she also meets a gentlemanly skeleton called Itwood, who despite his appearance, looks after Fran and takes her for a ride in his flying machine. Oh, clowns, that's it, I've had enough, I'm out of here. I feel like the bonds of friendship that Fran clings to keeps her sane, and there's something very poignant about how she still has hope even in the face of such horrific and painful events. It reminds me of that scene in Phantasmagoria 2 when young Curtis Craig chooses to hug his crazy mother rather than run from her. I love you, Mama. <laughs> in Fran Bo, the game is essentially about facing the unknown with hope and love to guide you. Remore would have Fran believe that she was the one who killed her parents and tries to drive her to suicide. On the brink of total despair, however, Fran is saved by the love and friendship of her dearest friends. Not many adventure games have such a profound message, and I can't recommend this game enough if you want a deep, thought-provoking gaming experience. The story is full of great emotional highs and lows that make you feel like you're really experiencing what Fran's going through, and there's a variety of different challenges apart from the usual point-and-click inventory puzzles. Fran Bow is such a layered game that there's no way to cover all of its subtleties in one review. Oh, beautiful! Goodbye, shiny misters! Have a nice trip! So suffice it to say that it's something you really have to experience for yourself. I still don't know many things, but one thing I do know, that between guilt and fear, I choose happiness! Yes, kitty! It was the funnest adventure in the whole universe!